It had been a few days since Twilight and her friends had listened to the alien captain's call for help, and in that time, Twilight and had been an inner battle between her curiosity about the aliens and the fact she was horrified by what seemed to be happening to them. She hadn't been sleeping too well due to a few nightmares. She had been having about... She has been having what little she had heard over the radio. But the last couple of nights, Luna seemed to have noticed, as her dreams have been her normal good dreams. It was a little before lunch when the knock came to the door and Spike went to answer. It was Twilight finishing the page of the book. She was reading. She reached the end of it and marked her place. She was surprised to find Fluttershy entering the room. Following Spike, the yellow pegasus had concern had a concerned look on her face. Fluttershy, is some is everything all right? It is something wrong with one of your animals? Twilight asked, setting her book to her side. Oh no, my animals are fine. Thank you for asking, Fluttershy said, and shifted on her hooves, a bit uncomfortable as she stared down at them. It's just... Twilight waited for a few moments to see if her friend would continue to band when she did not spoke up. Just what, Fluttershy? You know you can talk to me about anything. Fluttershy looked up at the purple alicorn and hid partly behind her mane. It's just... I want to know how the aliens are doing, she said in a soft voice. Twilight blinked. What? But you heard what was happening. Why do you want to hear more? The other mare nodded. I just, I know, and I, and that's why I want to know, hear more. I want to make sure they are okay, and I know if they, I know if they've gotten any help, she said. It's been bothering me since we left here a few days ago. I need to know that they are okay. Twilight stared at her friend in disbelief. Out of all her friends, Fluttershy would have been the last one she would have expected, wanting to hear more of an alien plight. But she could see the determination in the mare's eyes. She knew that she was asking, but she wanted to know. Sighing, Twilight got to her hooves. Okay, we can listen for a bit, if I can get the signal again. I haven't used the radio since that day, Twilight said, as she starts to make her way towards the radio room. The yellow pegasus followed close behind. Once they reached it, Twilight turned on the radio and started to adjust the dial. As she was searching for the alien signal, <sighs> and water is not an issue. The bunker has more than enough for the amount of people are right here. Fluttershy stopped as she heard the voice of Captain Graceland talking from the speaker. Miss Andrew has set up a sort of school for the children. And when I asked why she was setting up a school, she told me that even if we are stuck in this bunker, it is no use for the children to abandon their learning. Needless to say... I was taken aback by her response, and I had expected the kids to groan and not want to learn. But it seems they are enjoying it. I think it's because of the fact that it is something familiar while everything else is so up into the air right now. Twilight couldn't help but smile as she heard the captain explain that the aliens seem to be doing okay. And actually were adapting to whatever was happening to them. She saw Fluttershy with a relieved smile on her face. So far, everyone seems to be settling in to what I keep trying to raise command, but have gotten no response. I even started broadcasting an open signal, hoping to hear from anyone. Though it seems if anyone is over there, they can't hear... They either can't hear uh, this or have no way to respond or the antenna isn't working. I'm t 
talk and I'm talking to dead air. That produced a small frown from the face of the two ponies at this. If the captain can, hadn't been able to reach anyone, then why was he broadcasting? They got their answer when the captain continued as if he heard their thoughts. I have no idea why I am even bothering to broadcast at this point. Maybe it's on the off chance I might I get a response, or maybe if maybe it's just something for me to do that doesn't involve trying to keep things organized among 150 scared civilians when all I have are 20 of my guardsmen. Who knows? I'm not a psychologist. I just do what I am told and follow my duty. Twilight blinked at this. Psychology was a relatively new science in Equestria, but the way the captain spoke, it sounded like it was well established on the alien world. At least enough for him to mention it. Anyway, I suppose I should go back to... What the hell? Twilight blinked at the captain's sudden shift in tone, and then she started to hear a loud rumbling sound from the speaker. Is that a... Oh, shit! Twilight flinched back as the captain yelled and the rumble grew louder, and she could hear the crashing over the radio. After a few minutes of rumbling, the rumbling stopped. Is everyone okay? Report, damn it! Twilight could hear Captain Graceland shouting. He shouted in a distance from the library. You there, go check the civilians. Make sure they weren't hurt in the quake. There was a sharp pause, and then the captain spoke up again, much closer to the radio. We just had a massive earthquake. I'm signing off, as we need to check to make sure the bunker wasn't damaged. This is Captain Graceland of the U.S. National Guard signing off. Twilight heard the radio go dead. The Graceland shut off his radio, and Twilight made her way over to it to shut it off. Once that was done, she turned back to her friend. Well, they seem to be doing okay, all things considered. Fluttershy nodded. Yes, I'm so happy to hear that. She ate it and then smiled as she, she added, and then her smile fell. She said, um, Twilight, if it's okay with you, could I come by in a couple of days and maybe listen to more? I want to make sure that they are all okay. After having an earthquake as it sounded bad. Well, Twilight thought she could. She had to admit her curiosity had won out due to hearing what the aliens were doing out Okay, to sp everything. I don't see why not, she said with a smile. We could invite the girls over and make it a small get-together. Fluttershy nodded with a smile. I'd like that. After that, they, they talked for a few more minutes before Fluttershy said her goodbyes and left as Twilight returned to her reading. Chapter 4 Sickness Twilight bit her bottom lip as she adjusted the dials on the radio. It had been a few days since her last transmission from Graceland, and in that time, Twilight's friends had been over for a couple of days before having to go back to their own lives. For the most part, this was the third time they had gotten together to listen to the aliens. Once they had lear all learned that the alien was doing okay and the others the others had been fine with listening to them. Pinky had suggested, had actually wanted to find a way to either throw a party for them or at least talk to them so she could ch help cheer them up. But Twilight had explained that she wasn't really sure how to set up a broadcast for this radio and the tampering with it might cause might cause them to permanently lose the signal. After that, Pinky had decided that if they couldn't have a party with the, an alien, then they at least they could do was party for them. So, 
that it might somehow reach them from across the vast of space. Twilight knew it was better not to argue with the Pink Mare when she had a plan for a party, and as such, each time her friends had been over, though with a, each a failed attempt to get the alien signal, it had been just a quiet affair. I don't know why I can't pick them up. He seemed to be broadcasting about this time every day, Twilight muttered to herself as she adjusted the dials once more. Maybe he's busy. He did try to say he was trying to keep everyone organized, darling. Rarity suggested from the small table that had been moved into the radio room to aid in Pinky's party. As such, it had been s it had snacks and drinks resting atop it. Maybe, Twilight said, as she continued to turn the dial. This is Captain Graceland of the U.S. National Guard, broadcast to on all frequencies. Twilight smiled as the captain moved, voice came through as the speakers loud and clear, and she made her way over to her friends. After the quake a few days ago, I and my men did a sweep of, of the bunker, and apart from the shelves and supplies, and the little falling over, nothing seems to be damaged. We did have a few injuries among the civilians, but nothing our medics couldn't handle. Lockler thinks that the nearby volcano, St. Helens, I believe he called it, might have erupted due to being destabilized by the bombs, but no real way to be sure it is still too dangerous to go outside. Twilight and her friends listened intently, Pinky while in mute munching on some popcorn and Rainbow Dash was enjoying a cupcake while the others had some drinks as they listened but for the most part they were focused on the radio frankly I don't care about what caused that quake what I'm more concerned with is the civilians Twilight's ears perked up as she heard that and listened more intensely as Graceland sighed I'm not sure what's going what it is, but people are getting sick. And the medics are doing their best to tend to them. To try and help it from spreading. I had moved them to another part of the bunker. But it doesn't seem to be helping. As more and more people are getting sick. Enough that the medics are doing seems to be helping. Those who are sick as they are getting worse. The group of friends stopped during eating and stared at the radio intensely as the captain spoke. I'm not sure what it is, but I've spoken to Sergeant Foreman, and he he does have a theory about what it is. I just pray to God he is wrong. And I am going to have to have my men sweep the bunker with Gager's counters. <laughs> with some luck, they will come up empty and not, well, we will cross the bridge when we come to it. Anyway... I need to oversee the sweep. This is Captain Graceland, U.S. National Guards. <sighs> Signing off. With that, the radio went silent. The group of mares all looked over between each other. I hope they get better soon. Fluttershy said. Me too, darling. Rarity agreed. What in tarnation is a gauge counter? Twilight shrugged. I don't know. I've never heard of anything called a geiger, and I'm not sure why they would count them, Twilight said. Well, well, let's see how many they have, of course, silly, Pinkie Pie said, trying to lift the mood. I mean, you always want to know how many you have, don't you? Just like cupcakes. Somehow, Pinky, I don't think that means something like cupcakes, Twilight said. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they'll, they'll be just fine. Rainbow said, This Graceland seems to know what he's doing and is handling whatever is happening. Twilight looked at her scion friend and hoped she was right. After that, the friends started to talk to each other to get their minds off the radio, though they did plan to listen more of the radio alien when they got the chance.